Memorization of Psalm 62, and we're in verse 5 today, which says, For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. Now, if you've stuck with us in the memorization this far, then you'll know that verses 5 and 6 are going to be a repeated refrain of verses 1 and 2. So I wrote out verse 1 here for us so that we can just kind of uh, compare the two though you may already have it memorized as well, which is great. So verse 1 says, For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. So the two verses start out uh, pretty, very similarly, and then this idea of calling out to his soul is also, that's identical actually in the Hebrew. So for God alone, O oh my soul. And then you notice a, a change in tone here. The first one is more a tone of observation, whereas here uh, in verse 5, he's instructing. He's actually telling his soul what to do. He's saying, for, for God alone, my soul, wait in silence. That's an imperative rather than uh, in verse 1, this observation. I think what this may reveal in, in the psalm is something that is intuitive to all of us in trials. And that's that when we start out in a trial, we all probably enter or begin a trial with a measure of maturity or preparedness or um, uh, dedication to, to do well through the trial. But then as it goes on longer or is more difficult or more frightening or more painful than we would have perhaps at first anticipated, then what do we need to do? We have to shore up ourselves with truth. We have to instruct ourselves in truth. So I think we see David doing that here. He's instructing himself uh, to continue in the very things he began with, he entered the trial with, um, namely his soul silently waiting for God. And then the other thing that's different is in verse 5, we have uh, the source of David's hope being God, rather than in verse 1, he called out salvation, God, God being the source of his salvation. So that's kind of the, uh, the difference. There were the differences listed from verse 5 compared to verse 1. I just want to say one other thing, uh, actually, about this phrase, wait in silence. Now, uh, primarily what it doesn't mean. What it doesn't mean is uh, don't talk, right, or, or be quiet in the middle of trials. That's not what he's saying. In fact, he doesn't cry out at all for his tongue or his mouth to do anything. Later on in verse 8, he'll actually say, pour out your heart before him. Um, and so in the middle of trials, I don't think it's a bad thing. In fact, all throughout the Psalms, we'll see it's a good thing to cry out to God, to pray to God, to sing to God. Uh, to seek counsel, to weep, to question, to wonder. And all of that happens even with our mouths, and that's totally appropriate. Um, but here, what he's actually calling out to rest is not his mouth, but his soul. And so our soul in the middle of trial is what we must instruct um, to patiently endure. He's not really instructing us here about what to say or not to say but instead is encouraging our whole person, <laughs> the center of us, the fact that we are a living, breathing person, uh, that we should be at rest because of the character of God rather than the certainty of our circumstances. So I just wanted to note that out, that he's not just saying um, to be quiet, to grin and bear it, uh, to just kind of shut up in the middle of trials, not at all, but that his person as a whole is at rest before God because why his hope is from him his salvation is from him uh, so we'll go ahead and memorize verse 5 say that 25 times you might not even need to say it 25 times because it's very similar to verse 1 but say it enough times to uh, to get the hang of it and then go back and verse 4 we'll say 20 times um, and then maybe we'll start working on a little bit of review rather than just continuing down the 15, 10, 5 trail. Maybe say 3 and 4 10 times, and then 1 through 4, say that 5 times, so that we start to work on 
uh, remembering this paragraph really as a whole rather than the verses individually. So just encourage you to continue reviewing God's word and I trust that it will be an encouragement to you um, in whatever you're going through this week.